welcome back to my channel adventures with amira okay i went a little crazy at the dollar tree here's the first item i was on the hunt for these berry sprays are beautiful i love the little frosted pine cones and this just looks like a wintry christmas it's very warm still in florida so i wanted something that had a more flocked appearance to it like with freshly fallen snow and I have been to three Dollar Trees, and I think I've only collected about four of these. So apparently they're very popular this year, but this is one of the things I'm going to be using in some of the crafts I'm doing this year. They also had these little burlap wrapped arrangements in, and these are cute because they're super small. They're perfect for like a little table or a desk if you want something just festive. And for a dollar, I think that's a great deal for these. Now, these little cardinals are absolutely gorgeous to me. I'm trying to do a more farmhouse theme tree this year and you guys i started decorating it and both of my sisters who have done nature trees in the past were like girl you are too glam to be doing farmhouse they said your tree has too much glitter on it i think i'm gonna clip some of these into my tree too i'm hoping these little guys will help with that these are cardinals also and i'll probably just add them into my tree as well they definitely remind me of my mama she loved red birds then i found this little spray here and this just has some little presents and a little drum on here these are the Christmas cards I picked out to send to the soldiers that are stationed overseas. I don't know if you guys saw my previous video where I was talking about sending cards. This is what they said on the front. They said, Peace at Christmas. Just say, sending you warm wishes during this blessed holiday season. I thought this was beautiful and I thought that the soldiers would like something like this. So if you guys are interested in doing that next year, they all have to be sent to Washington, D.C. by December 1st. And then they send them out from there. But it's really nice to just send something, especially to the soldiers that don't have any family, to send them mail at the holidays. My daughter found this adorable little card. You guys, this is the cutest thing. She has a shirt this year, too, a Christmas shirt that says, Follow La La Llama. But these are adorable. I love these little handcrafted looking cards that they have now at the Dollar Tree. And this one actually has the little fabric pom-poms on there, if you can see that. Gorgeous. I stocked up on a ton of ribbon this year. I have some other ribbon that I got a few years back and I didn't buy enough of it, you guys. This is only nine foot per roll. So if you guys are trying to make bows and like a spray that goes down the side of your tree, you definitely need more ribbon than just two rolls. You probably would need like four or five according to how big the bows are. But this I probably will add to something else I'm working on, but this is so cute. I love the little farm trucks. These little coordinating farm trucks are really cute. This is a much smaller ribbon just so you can see them side by side. I picked up this red ribbon. I have these big topiaries out on the front porch and I may add this to those just to give them a more festive look for the holidays. And then I picked up two of these plaid rolls. I have some more of this I had from a few years ago and I just love this plaid ribbon I think it is beautiful here's the burlap ribbon that I picked up I bought four of these and I may try to make the top of my Christmas tree a bow with this that definitely will be more farmhouse and incorporate some of the other white ribbon and then these are the other four ribbons that I picked up the top one is the white with silver snowflakes and then I really like this grayish believe color that'll be beautiful with my marble backsplash we just put in our kitchen I think that'll coordinate well and then there's two more red ones I like this little fair owl print on the bottom it reminds me of a Christmas sweater here's the raffia I picked up I may string some of this through the tree I'm not sure yet my mama when she did her nature tree she always had raffia in there she used to put that on Christmas presents as well like she would tie that into the bows these bells are super cute. I had some other ones I was using, but these are bigger ones. I just think these are so pretty, and I can use them for a lot of the crafts that I'm doing this year. I picked up this little guy because he just looks so festive, and I may use him in my kitchen and one of the things I'm doing in there. I love this little bin right here. You can use it to store cookies or some of your Christmas crafts or whatever you have going on in your kitchen. I already have a purpose for this, so I was on the hunt for something like this, and I think this print is beautiful. I also found this little container. This is adorable. If any of you guys bake Christmas cookies and give them out for gifts or something like that, these are pretty for that. So I went ahead and picked up one of these. I love the little cups of hot cocoa on here. I picked up some more tape because we go through tape, I swear, weekly in this house. And this really does work a lot better than the other one. It seems like you get a lot more for the money on the other one. But I used it recently for something I was working on. And that tape does not work nearly as well as the scotch tape. So I would recommend this. They had quite a few new lights in this year. My daughter fell in love with these little Santa lights. 
And then I really like these. Now these are new. These have little bells on them. So the little things here light up and I thought that was just adorable. And then we also picked up some of these with the Christmas stars. I picked up more bell ornaments because if you guys have been watching my channel, you know about my little dog, Galaxy, and how much he loves to get into trouble under the Christmas tree. Literally, he was unwrapping presents last year, so we now have it, like, booby-trapped under the tree with all these different bells, and these are new this year. I did not see these before. I have some Christmas trees I picked up last year that have bells on them, but we're going to hang these little snowy ornaments. I have quite a few sets of these, so basically the whole bottom of my tree will be covered in, like, 50 bells. I don't even know how many bells we have under there. It's the only thing that will distract him from going under our tree, and I don't want him tearing up my new Christmas tree skirt, which he's decided already is probably his new bed. I already have one of these ornaments on the tree and last year I had such a glam tree but I fell in love with this ornament and just picked it up even though I didn't use it at the time and this year I don't really have many of my fancy ornaments on there at all so I really wanted to pick up some more of these and I was so glad they had them in one of the stores that I was in. I also picked up quite a few of these and I have several of these from last year in the reindeer print but I love these. They're nothing fancy they're just cardboard on the back but I love this plaid print. And then here's another coordinating ornament and joy. I picked up one of these little balls. So you twist it to turn it on and it makes different lights, which is pretty cool. I might use this in my daughter's room. We normally do like a candy theme or winter wonderland, but she liked this too. So I went ahead and picked this up. They also had these little trees that change colors as well. And these are with LED lights. So hopefully they'll last a long time, but I thought this was super cute. She also fell in love with this little gingerbread mailbox. Now, this is adorable, you guys. It just says, stay cozy on the front. And then it has the little plastic flag on the side. And then we picked up some gingerbread. I'll show those to you in a moment. And she was saying we could just sit the little gingerbread in here. <laughs> I grabbed these because my husband really likes them. And I've seen people using them in their hot cocoa bars. So that's one of the things we're looking at doing with this as well. I also picked up quite a few of these little jars. I love these jars. I keep baking soda in there and I keep a bunch of different stuff that I use in the kitchen in these already, but I want to use them for different things for our hot cocoa. So I think these are so cute and I love that they're glass so that they're food safe. They have some new items that came out that look similar to these, you guys, and they're over in the toy section, which is a weird spot. They look almost just like glass and my daughter was thinking we could use them since they're plastic and they look like this, but I was telling her because they're plastic, they're probably not food safe and you don't want anything from the plastic leaching into the stuff that you put in there. So they'd probably be fine for like candy that's already wrapped or something, but be careful about that because they do look similar, but they're not for food. They also had this one. This is glass as well. And then I picked up one of these. This is like an old fashioned type candy jar like my grandma had. <laughs> But I like these because they are airtight and I thought this would be better for marshmallows. There are the little gingerbread men I was talking about. So cute. They also have little gingerbread houses. Here are some more ornaments because I have a lot more white on there this year than I normally do. I normally have a lot of gold in my tree. But I picked up a lot of these white ornaments just trying to give it a snowier look. Although my sister said these are too fancy for farmhouse but... Look, this is modern farmhouse. I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> then I found these little guys. I don't know why. I just fell in love with them. I don't know if it was their polka dot hats. I don't know. They just are super cute. I don't normally buy little stuff like this specifically, but for some reason, they were calling to me at the store. Do y'all remember that Pier 1 Imports commercial they had last year where something was calling to the people? These were calling to me for much less <laughs> than anything at Pier 1. I love Dollar Tree. For that reason, I got quite a few craft items because my daughter and I are going to be working on some stuff. But look at these. I have not seen this vase filler at our store before, but I feel like that's a great deal. Also picked up this little sign. I thought this would be because pretty. it's gray and white, so I'm trying to incorporate some red in there. They also had these little metallic beads over in the craft section. And these are new. I've never seen these before, and my daughter had some ideas. Um, that we were thinking about working on together. So I really like these. I bought quite a few of these. These are the only colors they have in right now, but I like the metallic look of these. I also bought more sets of these pom-poms. I had a few from last year 
but we're going to be doing a craft with these as well. This little plate right here is gorgeous. I was hoping to find one of the oval plates like this. They had a bunch of other prints, but in our store, they only had this in the round. But I thought this was so cute and festive. My daughter fell in love with it too. And I got some coordinating pieces to go with it for what we're setting up. So I love this. So they had this little holiday mug in, which I think is adorable. It matches that little mailbox that we have also and the tray. I think they'll all coordinate well together. And then they also had this little guy, these penguins. My daughter loves penguins. She is just all about them this year. So we both found these and I think these would be cute gifts for anybody. These are some more items I picked up for the crafts. These are the three sayings in here, but these are beautiful on wreaths or there's just a lot of different DIYs you can I had do. a bunch of these before and I was looking for them and I realized I donated them all to my son's arts and craft teacher. I went back to look for them and realized I'd given them all away, so I went and grabbed a few more. These are some of the best marshmallows. We just did what's called the basket brigade in our town where we did a food drive at the school. We, my son was a team captain for diversity club. And then last Sunday, we all got together. There was over 2,000 people there putting together baskets to take families in need in our area. And so the marshmallows were on the list this year. So we actually picked up quite a few of these. I donated a lot of the stuff that I had for this haul. I've already taken to the school because we did the baskets this past weekend. And Dollar Tree had a ton of stuff. Mashed potatoes, stuffing mix, gravy, baking chips. These are good for donations too if you guys are having a food drive at your kid's school. Here's another one of those little mugs and this one's different. It doesn't come in a box but it comes with a little bit of candy and a tag and I think this is a great gift to give somebody. I like the size of this mug. I just like the shape of it because it's taller and slimmer. But you know what this reminds me of? You guys no, I love Disney but this reminds me of the movie Up because these remind me of balloons above the little house so cute we got quite a bit of candy this year i picked up some peppermint bark which this is delicious these little mini candy canes because these are always good just to give out stocking stuffers hot cocoa i picked up some of these peppermints these are definitely a classic I also picked up some of these. These are some of my husband's favorite, and he likes to keep these on his desk at work. My daughter found this little peppermint crunch popcorn, and she really likes it. It's called Sweet Chaos. It's handmade kettle corn. To me, it tastes a little bit stale, but she says it's delicious, so I bought her some more. They also had some of these little Russell Stouffer's peppermint patties. And you guys, these are individually wrapped. So these are really good for like classroom parties and things like that. If you want to pass some of these out, those are great little treats to give out. I picked up some of my husband's beloved gummy bears. You guys know he loves candy. I picked up some of these little candy cane sticks from Bob's. You guys, Bob's is from our town. So we're from Albany, Georgia. And actually, some of his family used to take piano lessons from my husband. My husband used to be a piano instructor before he joined the Air Force. And it's so funny because we knew everybody that worked at Bob's because it, it was a family-owned company. But it's just funny whenever I see Bob's, it reminds me of home. They also had these giant Brock's peppermint sticks in this year. So I grabbed a few of these. I grabbed three different types of Hershey Kisses. This is milk chocolate in the red. And then this one's cookies and cream. And this is milk chocolate also. I picked up this little cake decorating kit. I think I'll be able to use this for some of the Christmas cookies we're planning on doing. I really like these for getting things out of the candy jar. So I grabbed a four pack of these. That's a really good deal, by the way, especially compared to like Party City or somewhere. These are some more ribbons. It's like a decorative mesh that you can make wreaths and decorate trees with and stuff. So I picked up some of this. I have a different one of these dish drying mats that I really like. So I picked up another one. I really like the red for the holidays. So I picked this up as well. I didn't get a lot of cleaning stuff this time because I'm pretty stocked up on all of that but I did grab some of these dusters. I love these little napkins. I think they're super festive and I didn't get a lot of gift bags because I had quite a few from last love year. This Christmas tree with the sprinkles on top like a cupcake. That is just beautiful to My me. My daughter saw the penguin and fell in love so I'm sure I'll have a present that will go in here. I got several sets of gift tags. These are all super cute. They'll coordinate with everything we're doing for the holidays. And then finally I got these gift tags. Now these are definitely more rustic and I love these reindeer here. I think I bought this mostly for the reindeer but her teacher's name is Joy so I was thinking about putting this on her teacher gift this year. We already picked that up. Alright you guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.